Hi everyone, we're back again for another Tech Talk Thursday. We're live in the production wing here to talk to you about the Remote Storage Safety 3 Alarm and how to properly calibrate it using nitrogen. If you're interested, definitely keep on watching. Here we have the Remote Storage Safety 3 Alarm, the RAD01026, and we are going to begin the calibration process. To begin, you will need a gas cylinder of pure nitrogen. Nitrogen can be purchased at a local gas supplier or online by contacting www.co2meter.com. To begin, hold the tubing from the nitrogen gas cylinder to the CO2 sensor opening, which will be located on the top left-hand corner. Open the gas regulator. Flow rate should be between 0.15 and 0.50 liters per minute. Wait until the CO2 reading on the SEU settles consistently at or near 0 ppm. Once it reaches 0 ppm, press the mode button five times. The CO2 and Kali icon will start flashing on the SEU. Press enter to view the calibration settings. The SEU screen will now display a flashing zero and CO2. Press enter again to begin the calibration. Calibrating will begin flashing. After approximately three minutes, the LCD will display either pass or fail. If the LCD reads fail, repeat the steps again. After approximately three minutes, the LCD will display pass. If it displays pass, press enter. The display should now show zero ppm. Reset the unit by either pressing the reset button on the bottom right hand corner. For inquiries, visit our website at www.co2meter.com for more information on the Remote Storage Safety 3 Alarm in your application.